Jan, I want to be a basketball coach. Don't you understand that? When I was coaching in junior high, that was the happiest time of my life. The kids were 12, 13 years old. They didn't know what the hell I was talking about. But this is what I want to do. Well, it's not what I want to do. What about me, David? Don't I count? Jan, I love you more than I've ever loved anybody. But I'm going to Nevada. Well, I'm staying in New York. Who is it? Ma, it's me. Me who? Me, your son. My son who? How many sons do you have? Give me a name. Isn't a voice enough? Give me a name. David Benjamin. Davy, it's past midnight. Ma, you know, I think you're getting old. You're a little bit suspicious. Suspicious, you bet, with the bums in the neighborhood? What was the fight about? There was no fight. Well, what are you doing with the suitcase? Look, Ma, Jan and I, we just came to like an understanding. Some understanding. You're here and she's there. All right, I'll tell you what happened in the morning. All right, good night. Hey, man, it's a chance to get an education. Tomorrow belongs to you. You got to think about your future. Hey, I got my future in the bag. You know how much money I make? Yeah, I can tell by the way you're dressed. Come on, man, I got to dress down or I scam away. Listen, Leroy, a pool hustler's life is nothing to look forward to. You know, there's not a lot of longevity involved. Hey, I can go on forever. Mike's too cool for these turkeys. <laughs> yeah, too cool for these turkeys. You know, you better watch out. These turkeys get smart. One year, I might have you for Thanksgiving. Hey, what's that in hell? Get out. Say what? Say what? Get your ass out of here. Come on, man. I'm only looking to play. Why you talk to me like that? I don't want your action here. I'm going to see to it you don't get any action in New York. And if you want any action, you better get on down to West Virginia. Oh, come on, man. Get out and take that Puerto Rican with you. Hey, Hunky, what are you doing here? This is my man. He's here to do a cover story for Time magazine. Cover story for Time? Yeah, oh, yeah. Ray. to you this evening, a humble messenger of the Grand Master. Amen. Grand Master of the Church of the Celestial Being. I say, I say humble because I am. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. How does he move? What? How does he move? You give him a basketball, he got more moves than a hundred dollar hooker. 19 years old, nah. right out of the Harlem tenement, right. and no education. Right. That's right, just a no education. Yeah. But I wears uh -huh. $400 suits, yeah. I walk around in yeah. $100 shoes, and I drive a brand new, which is parked right outside the church, uh -huh. Coupe de Ville. Yeah. Come on now, let me hear from you. Now, now, I'm going to tell you something else, and then I'm going to get off this stage. You know, the rich people would tell you that poverty is not a crime. They ain't that something? They would actually say that poverty is not a crime. Yeah. And you want to know why they can tell you that? Because they ain't got no poverty. You got it. Oh, That's right. right. Oh, the poverty oh, is not a crime. Watch out! Oh, oh shit!
You crazy, man? Give her that gun! Put that thing down, man! Give her that gun! Get the car! Bring her out back! Car. car! Bring her out back! The car! Come on, man. Answer the phone. Sonny! Baby, what's going on here? Nothing, Mama. Go, go rustle up some food again. What'd you say? So what kind of food do these people eat? The same as us. Maybe not the same as you. Come on, I'll help you. Come on. Okay. Well, our father celestial soldiers gonna guard you? Leroy, our father celestial soldiers are trying to kill me. What? I thought you was his protege. I was. Leroy, he's got this daughter, see? Hot for my body. So when I was in Chicago, I was living at his house. The chick would come around to visit in the middle of the night. Three o'clock in the morning, Leroy, a man ain't thinking at all. So she's pregnant. So what? Marry her. Leroy, you don't marry God's daughter, especially when she's 15. 15? What do you want from me? I'm only 19. And ain't no place safe for me, Leroy. Not here, Chicago, Los Angeles, Detroit. Oh, man, there's people everywhere. Not everywhere. Mm, thank you. Want a Coke? Ever hear of a Cadwallader University? No, man, I ain't never heard of... Say what? Cadwallader. No. That's all right, nobody has. Hey, what's happening, Danny? Any luck? Luck? I've been to 11 places today. Every kid I coached in junior high school. You want to know what the story is? Four are in college already. Two are in the Air Force. One is dead. One is in jail. And the rest, whereabouts unknown. Don't ever become a bartender. Your strong point is not other people's problems. Which one is Swish? The one with the ball. and a soft touch. See what I mean? Amazing. You know, I don't understand how come this Bobby James hasn't been snatched up by some college. I don't know. How well do you know him? Not as well as I'd like to. What the hell does that mean? He's a drag queen? No wonder they call him Swish. You mean her? Her? Daddy, meet Roberta James. Bobby. Son of a bitch. I'm already going to college. I started to fall at CCNY. On a basketball scholarship? Academic. But that's crazy. You should be playing basketball. Oh, really? Who's drafting females these days? Nobody let me play with the boys. I'll let you play with me. Shut <laughs> up, Hustler. You can play on my team. How bad do you want it? Bad. Bad enough to register as Robert James? It's a real nice block here, you know that? Where are we going? Right here. In here? Yeah, that's right. Right in here, Mom. You know, I'm not recruiting any rats this year. They eat too much cheese. Come on, man. Be cool, all right? We're really going in here? Yeah, come on now. Let's go. What's the matter, no doorman? Oh, well, once you get inside, it's not that bad. Come on, man. Could I have a swimming pool on the roof? Hey. What's sounding ugly? What you doing, little Roy? Hey, all right. Who's this guy, man? Hey, relax. He's cool. Here, I brought you something. Who is this man? He's a basketball coach. That's all. Uh-huh. He don't look like no basketball coach to me. Sure don't. Looks more like a pig. Hey, guys, I ain't no pig. Actually, I'm from the landlord, and your rent is overdue. How you doing? David Green. Hey, man, get him out of here. Hey, lighten up, man. Get him out of here, man. Hey, Come give on, him my let's groceries, go. Come on. Let's Take go. Come on. Hey, you. You better forget you ever seen this place. Oh, God, you, this place is a memory. DC. DC. DC Daisy. 
Donald Clarence Stacy, Morris High School, 1976, 28.7 a game. 148 basketball scholarships, turns them all down and disappears, drops out of sight. D.C. Daisy. Give the man his groceries. Congratulations, Dave. David, this what? is from the guys at the Delta. Oh, the guys at the Delta. All right. They broke their heart. They told me so. Oh, I wish so. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right, listen, I want a fast break. Hustler, make a cut between the pickles and the mustard and dunker right there in the parking right. box. <laughs> Mrs. Zook, I gotta open this next. Hey, DC, have some trouble. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Billy, you started to smoke. Congratulations. Ms. Zook, I thank you very much. Thank you. You always wore a classy lady. Thank you. Ma, how you doing? Ma. Fine, fine. I don't see you. You don't see her because she's not here. When she comes, you'll see her. You spoke to her. I spoke, I spoke. Give her a chance. I think you should speak to that big kid, Dizzy. DC, not Dizzy. DC. Dizzy, DC. What's the difference? Dizzy. Yeah. Somebody else would like some chopped liver. Like, like who? Like me. Like you. Yes. I think in your life you had enough chopped liver. What do you think? <laughs> so, Mrs. Green, what do you think of your boy? I think he's crazy. Basketball, <laughs> Nevada. He's a good boy, though. We're going to miss him. I'm missing too, David, Henry. I got one for you, boys. Who is the first black player in the NBA? You see that? You don't know. Nat Sweetwater Clifton. He played for the Knicks, 1949. You boys should know that. That's your roots. Say, what was your name? Arnie Dibber. Dibber? A uh, Dibber. Who was the first white ball player to play in the NBA? Huh? Ah, oh, got to get to the roots, boy. Get down. <laughs> I'm getting down. So what was that, about 18 months ago? Whoa, shut up, look at Excuse me, nice seeing you again. Hi. Thanks for coming. Yeah, well, your mom said um, you're going to be leaving in the morning. I couldn't call you. I'd have my mother do it. You're like a kid. So... I came by to say so long, and uh, I hope you'll be very happy. Jan. Jan. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you look pale. Are you eating? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Come and eat. Oh, no, you go and eat. Go ahead. We'll see you later. Go ahead. Have something to eat. Goodbye. You know, maybe I was dreaming, but I had this idea you might show up here with your luggage tonight. I came here because I don't want us to be enemies. That's very nice. Well, I don't want us to be just friends. I mean enemies. I got something for you. It's a plane ticket. No, no, no you don't have to use it. Just take it. It's returnable, refundable, you can get money, anything you want. You never could tell. You could be driving by an airport and all of a sudden you get an urge and bing, bong, boom, you're in Nevada. Bye, David. I'm scared. I'm scared, too. How's it look? It's quiet, Mom. Hey, man, any cops? Nothing. Come on, relax. You see, man, my pants are getting all wrinkled. The sucker's taking forever. Here they come now. What the hell is that? <laughs> look at that walk. <laughs> we got to spend three days in the car with a, with a... Hey, man, he lays one hand on me, and I'm going to deck his ass. Cute. And look at that cow over there. Moo! Found to hell with the cow. <laughs> Cute. 